How's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Itch Technology Screens using nanotechnology game. I want you to look around at my nice, bright environment. Now, keep in mind, like I said, when you see people doing demonstrations on a 4x4 projection screen next to a window and the projector sitting right up on top of the screen, as I explained before, the smaller the screen, the closer the projector, the majority closer the um, the um, when you have a screen that's 4x4, it's a small screen. So in order for them to fit that screen, the projector would have to be sitting right up on top of it. And when you see them doing demonstrations next to windows and so forth on that little tiny sample sheet, it doesn't really prove anything because you have to do it on a larger scale to really show how that screen is going to be affected once that projector has to expand the pixelations to cover that screen. Now, what I'm talking about is that the closer, uh, the smaller the screen, the more the pixelations will be pushed together, giving you a tight, tighter, sharper, and brighter image. The um, bigger the picture means the pixelations would have to expand and you would lose some picture quality uh, with that particular, with the projector or the screen. Now, when you have, with the screen I'm having right here, I'm using a short though, yes, it's sitting about five feet from the screen, but due to a 146 inch at 1610, I keep saying 69, but screen is actually 1610, the pixelations would have to expand, and that means the picture quality would deteriorate, especially when you have, get that camera for a little better there, are we good here? Okay, there we go. Especially when you have this much light hitting the screen. I'm gonna show you how much physical light comes in contact with the screen. Look at this, let me just show you this. Now usually when most people are doing condensed lighting, the condensed lighting, my light shifts. So I have my shifts back and forth. So I have mine pointed at the screen so you can see the lighting that's hitting the side of the screen. So look at this, I want you to see physical light is coming down, right down the side of the screen. And the reason why is because some people have the condensed light high up in the ceiling, which means it bypasses the screen, or some people can push the uh, lights outward so it doesn't hit the screen. But as you can see, it's physical contact with the screen. Now I'm gonna show you something here. Now, I don't do, I do demonstrations, maybe very slim, uh, different between the different two technologies, but I like to do demonstrations against high-end screens because it really shows what a technology can do. <clears throat> Sorry about that. This is a Dark Star 9 by Elite Screen. It has a gain of 0.9. Our screens have something called nanotechnology gain. They have a gain of 0.9. Get that camera to focus a little bit there. 0.9 and a viewing angle of 180 degrees. All right, now for a 100 inch, and not to put the technology down in any way, Elite makes a very good screen, they do, but for a 100 inch of that screen would cost you between two to three. It may be a little lesser than that now, but around two to three for a 100 inch. That's what I'm going at. All right, now keep in mind that a 150 inch, this is 146 inch, but it was out of 150 inch that was custom designed for 146 for me. Um, this would cost you for a dark, for a deep silver would cost you in a price range of $560. And a um, black screen would cost you in a price around $660. You kind of get the math going on, right? Okay, so just to give you an enlightenment on exactly why our technology, uh, people say it's a bit high. It's not high when you consider that we do our demonstrations against high-end screens. Now, if you're doing demonstrations against your own mixes, then it really doesn't prove the, the wealth of your technology, does it? All right, so let's go in, or the, the, uh, the worth of your technology. All right, not the wealth, sorry about that. So let's take our projector off blank mode. Now you can see as both screens look exactly alike, we're gonna show you that there's a difference between our technology and the Dark Star 9. There you go. Now see, our screen being as the same color as a Dark Star 9, almost the same color as a Dark Star 9, can produce a higher and brighter level, a white level, and contrast at the exact same time. And as you saw, and I showed you the camera, the physical light in contact with the screen, the kind of screen cancels it out. This is nanotechnology gain. Remember, 190 degree viewing angle. Lights out. The 
for those of you that keep asking about the lights out, here you go. Anywhere I go in my environment, my screen is going to show up. Anywhere I turn, anywhere I angle the camera, that screen is going to show up. With all that lighting hitting the screen. Now when I tell you the screen is silver, it's silver. When I tell you it's black, it's black. I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to I'll show you the screen that's one color and it turns out to be another color. Look at that. Look how beautiful the skin tones are. See, we've got a physical light. Now watch it disappear. See this up here? That's why when I do demonstrations next to windows and with lights on, I will always do it. Most of the time I would do it, let's well, say not most of the time, but when I do demonstrations, I actually do a demonstration on a 4x4 sample. I always make sure the projectors pull back. I, I do not like to do, use ultra short throws, especially with a little 4x4 screen. Usually if I do 4x4 tests, that's a sample screen, that's a test screen. I'll do something to it, like hit it with spotlights um, to basically make it harder for the projector to perform. And that's the reason why we use spotlights. That's the reason why we do the extreme lighting and demonstrations like that, because we want to make it harder for the projector to be able to perform in that environment. We don't want to make it easy for the projector. That's the last thing I want to do. And that's the reason why we start, we were the first ones who started putting bar lights in the center of the screen because we want to show you that how these screens can thrive in a well lit environment. You don't have to worry about your screen washing out or fading on you. You know, we're going to show you the real deal and not cut corners. Come over here. Let's open up my window. Let some light in. Right here, so you can see this. Keep in mind, so physical light in contact with the screen next to an open window. Now, if people look at my demonstration, then keep in mind my projector is not even 1080p. My projector is 1280 by 800. That's my projector. Literally, compressed. 720 compress uh, 1080p compress 720p. I don't want to know what that looks like. So that's that is the resolution on my projector, 1280 by 800. It's not even full 1080p. I have a projector upstairs that's full 1080p. This is not even full 1080p. All right, for my time runs out here, if I didn't say it already, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Wage Technology Streams using nanotechnology gain. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Our blackout cloth is available in 100 inch, 120 inch, and 150 inch, 16.9. We can ship free worldwide, free. And keep in mind, there is no painting, no mess, no fuss. Just wrap it over your frame and you are done. The screens do have built-in grommets. They're fully weatherproof and they are 4K and 3D ready. Work with short throw, long throw, and ultra short throw.
show you something. My door is open, plenty of light coming in. We got a rainy day today. I'm so freaking happy, you have no idea why. I'm gonna be taking that sample sheet right over there outside and I'm gonna be dousing it with a hose. Keep in mind, see my screen does not sit behind my door. <laughs> 